how did we find out the Earth's true age? We haven't time traveled, we haven't found ancient diaries, so where did the answer come from? Scientists figured it out using radioactive elements, elements inside rocks that slowly decay like a natural time clock. For example, uranium turns into lead, potassium-40 turns into argon, thorium turns into lead. And these changes happen at a perfectly fixed speed, like nature's own stopwatch. But why do these elements slowly decay? Because inside some atoms, like uranium, potassium-40, thorium, the nucleus is unstable. Think of it like this. Some atoms are perfectly stable. Hit them, burn them, boil them, freeze them, nothing changes. They remain the same forever. But some atoms are unstable. They want to become stable. So unstable atoms slowly release tiny particles and energy to fix themselves. This process is called radioactive decay. It doesn't happen because the rock is breaking or dying. It happens because the atoms inside the rock are trying to reach a stable form. So the atom transforms into another element to stabilize. Example, uranium turns into lead. Potassium-40 turns into argon. How does this help scientists find Earth's age? Scientists study rocks to measure how much of the original element is still there, like uranium, and how much of the new element has formed, like lead. This ratio tells exactly how much time has passed, even billions of years. But there was one big problem. Earth's earliest rocks were destroyed while the planet was forming by volcanoes, earthquakes, heat, rain, erosion, and the movement of tectonic plates. So scientists needed something older and untouched. The solution? Meteorites. Meteorites were formed around the same time as Earth, but they stayed preserved in space, safe and unchanged for billions of years. When scientists measured the oldest Earth rocks, ancient lunar rocks, and meteorites formed with our solar system, all the results pointed to the same age. Final answer, Earth is about 4.54 billion years old. We didn't witness our planet being born, but the rocks and even meteorites remembered everything.